Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paw. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from March of 2019. Let's start off with books and magazines. I got a couple late 70s scholastic paperbacks. Superstars is a real time capsule with chapters devoted to Tatum O'Neill, William Catt, and Peter Frampton. And TV 79 shows you what was big on the boob tube. I loved What's Happening, Mork and Mindy, and of course, Three's Company. Hypnotism, nobody believes in that baloney. I got a 1974 issue of Jet Magazine, nifty ad for James Brown's new single, My Thang, and a casket photo of the recently deceased Duke Ellington. I also got a copy of Weird Al's second children's book, My New Teacher and Me. I like how he uses the word poppycock. You just don't see that in enough kids' books these days. And finally, a book that's strictly for adults. Robot Sexy is another art book by Hajime Soriyama. We've got sexy robots, robot kangaroos, and some non-robot drawings that are a little too hot to show in an uncensored form. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll try to calm down now, and we'll move on to the category of miscellaneous. I got a Wooly Willy keychain, old postage stamps, including some from Colombia, a Classico's art matchbox from Mexico, a 2002 Chuck E. Cheese token, patches from Penn State, the Allegheny Trails, and the Heritage Reservation, a 2018 Pittsburgh Penguins hockey ticket, and some stickers. This one's from Big League Chew, and these NFL Quarterback Club stickers are from the late 90s. I also found this Big Boy sticker album, which must have been given away by the restaurants in the early 90s, because these Troll World stickers inside it are from 1992. Damn! And it looks like I'm rich. I found some million dollar bills with prints on them. That is wild. Okay, everybody, it's story time. Chapter 1. Once upon a time, Thiet was a sheep who lived in a casal. He was asleep when a he wosy up. He read a book, but when he, he punted at the fish, he was not happy. He was sad and went to see Turtel because Terrell hap. But Turtel was seeing a sun flow. Well, I think we found this year's Pulitzer Prize winner. <laughs> I got some fold-out travel postcards from the Polynesian Cultural Center in Hawaii. I heard I can get a pretty good lay around there. Uh, L-E-I, that is. Got a few other cool Hawaii postcards as well, plus a couple 1986 baseball postcards. You're out! And I found a notice from a classy person. I'm cultured, refined, sophisticated, and horny. Ooh. How kinky. Plus, a couple original Trapper portfolios, a 1971 advertisement for the Isaac Hayes album Black Moses, and from a November 1985 Jackson, Mississippi daily newspaper, an ad for Cowboy Maloney's Appliance and Video Center. Now we know the cowboy's price. <laughs> and finally, for 15 cents, I got a 1987 Bud Light Spuds McKenzie oversized beer mug. I don't think my bladder can even hold this much liquid. I'll change it up this time and we'll check out toys and games next. I got some more video games. For Xbox 360, I got Green Day Rock Band, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, Beautiful Katamari, Doom 3, Left for Dead, Dishonored, Just Cause 2, and Grand Theft Auto 5. For PS3, I got Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction and Batman Arkham City. For PSP, I got Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. And for PS2, I got The Incredibles, Splashdown, Gran Turismo 3, Guitar Hero 3, Tenchu Wrath of Heaven, Final Fantasy X2, and Final Fantasy XII. And for PlayStation, I got ATV Quad Power Racing, Metal Gear Solid, Spec Ops Covert Assault, and Hot Shots Golf. No, 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 And for GameCube, I got Swingers Golf and the Scorpion King. For the DS, I got Loving Life with Hello Kitty and Friends. And for the Wii, I got The Strike, Think Fast, Deca Sports 2, Sonic and the Secret Rings, 
We Cheered To, Monster High, Ghoul Spirit, Michael Jackson, The Experience, Super Mario Galaxy, Medal of Honor Vanguard, You Draw Studio, DJ Hero, Wipeout, My Sims Agents, The Amazing Race, and Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? If you aren't, you might be a redneck. And I got some trading cards. A 1988 Leaf pop-up baseball card, six early 90s post-serial baseball cards, six 1993 Giant Eagle Grocery Store Steelers cards, and a 1996 Upper Deck football sticker. And this 1998 Marcus Broadwater card, 10-year-old MVP of the Tri-State Torch. That's rare. I got a 2003 Silver Chrome card, a 1991 High Flyers Champs card, and nine 2014 WWE cards. I also got a Journey to Star Wars The Force Awakens card, 17 Shopkins cards, and a Peebles District Volunteer Fire Company card, 5 Chaotic Gaming cards, 2 Force of Wild Gaming cards, 19 Pokemon Gaming cards, and a 1998 Lenticular Pokemon card. Plus, I got a 2007 Tomy Mewtwo, a 2011 Jazzware Supersonic, six Rubber Ninjas, and these strange fruits. Man, they are annoying. <laughs> and lastly, a couple of vintage items, a Fisher-Price post office truck, and two film cartridges for the Fisher-Price movie viewer. I spent many a childhood afternoon watching these cartoons by looking into that plastic eyepiece. Great memories. Now we'll check out my video scores. I got one cool old horror VHS, House of the Living Dead on the Canadian Interglobal label. Some houses have a soul. This one's got ten. And I found this VHS C cassette labeled Volleyball. Yeah, that's what it's on it. It brings back some bad memories from high school gym class. And I got 67 more DVDs, Blu-rays, and box sets. New Blu-rays are Bruno, Thor, The Dark World, and I upgraded from DVD to Blu-ray on Taken 2, Tomb Raider, and Super Troopers. On DVD, I got TV stuff. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 6, Charmed the Final Season, I'm missing Disc 5, instead I have Disc 1 of Season 7, and Kung Fu Season 1. My Tiger Kung Fu. It's better than yours. Plus, MASH Season 11, The Ali G Show Season 1, Tim and Eric Awesome Show Season 2, and Airwolf Season 1. I was Airwolf, that's right. I was Airwolf, that's right. Kid stuff. I got Frosty the Snowman and The Legend of Frosty the Snowman, Charlie Brown's Christmas Tales, and Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving, and Muppets in Space. Anime. I got Ghost in the Shell 2, Bacano Complete Collection, and Get Backers Complete Collection. Foreign films. Iron Monkey 2, Shaolin Soccer, Chai Lai Angels, and Like Water for Chocolate. I got some classic rock. Blue Cheer Rocks Europe, and these classic films. Easy Rider, The Wild One, The Ten Commandments, Winchester 73, Dewberry Was a Lady, The Music Man, Camelot, Brigadoon, and The Man with the Golden Gun. Action movies. I got Rush Hour, Kill Bill Volume 1, The Man with the Iron Fists, Wolverine, 2012, Sherlock Holmes, Mission Impossible, a four film Jason Statham collection, and Nomad the Warrior. <laughs> Comedies. I got Epic Movie, The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Colon Movie Film, The Dukes of Hazard, and one of my favorites, Mall Rats. Snoochie Butchers. Snoochie Boochies. Horror films. I got Prom Night, Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Teristas, Dead Razor, Red Planet, The Final Destination with the 3D Glasses, Someone is Watching, Tremors, Suicide Girls Must Die, The She-Beast, and Jaws. You're gonna need a bigger boat. And 80s stuff. The Pickup Artist, Terms of Endearment, Eddie and the Cruisers 2, The Accused, Tequila Sunrise, They All Laughed, The Great Outdoors, and both Predator movies. I'm a cop, you idiot. I'm Detective John Kimball. Awesome. So let's move on to the final category and check out my audio scores. 
I got 26 more CDs. Weird Al Yankovic, Frank Zappa, Miles Davis, Chuck Berry, two CDs by Bill Cosby, Daryl Hall, Rick Wakeman, War, Neil Young, Bachman Turner Overdrive, soundtracks of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, The Woman in Red, Footloose, and Kirby Dream Collection, plus Billy Idol, The Cure, Elvis Costello, John Lydon, The Meat Puppets, Lords of Acid, Steve Malkmus, Chibo Motto, The Beastie Boys, Jack White, and Dio, The Anthology. New cassettes this month are Dreamboat Annie by Heart, and this Billy Joel Live in Russia album, whose title I cannot pronounce. Oh, it looks like we might have a copyright infringement alert. 22 Soft Metal Classics, The Final Countdown, is a release from the Gamava Group, a Middle Eastern label from the United Arab Emirates. The thick pink plastic case is actually heat proof and was designed for hot countries. Here's the cassette itself, no labels at all. It comes with a lyric sheet for all 22 songs that probably do not appear legally on this compilation. The soft metal classics include tunes by Europe, Alice Cooper, and Marillion, plus Missing You by John Waite, Broken Wings by Mr. Mr., Right Here Waiting by Richard Marks, and many other songs that are not soft metal by anyone's definition. I also got some vinyl records. 45s of George Thorogood's Bad to the Bone, Carrie by Europe, and what's this? Oh, it's Upside Down by Diana Ross. And I got picture sleeve 45s of three awful songs, Friends and Lovers by Gloria Loring and Carl Anderson, She's Like the Wind by Patrick Swayze, and Sweetheart by Engelbert Humperdinck. I also got the first Aerosmith album featuring Dream On and the 1978 Paul Stanley solo album. Wouldn't You Like to Know Me is one of my favorite songs, and the best part is the original poster is still in the album. And now it's time for the find of the month. I already had a copy of the Kiss album Love Gun, though mine was a Canadian pressing, not like this US one. But one thing I didn't have was the original cardboard Love Gun that was supposed to be inside of it. My life is a little more complete now. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $24. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from March of 2019. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.